Xena dies. Gabrielle pretends to be Xena. Kick-ass fights in underleathers. Mm -hmm. This was the second episode of Xena I saw, and I loved the mix of action, comedy, and drama. This is one of the episodes you should show someone wanting to know what all the fuss is about and why they're now naming planets after Xena. What a fun way to start this episode with Gabrielle testing out her new phone skills with the staff on Argo? I think Renee's having way too much fun with that lethal weapon. <laughs> and ha! <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay. I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Replay this clip and listen closely. Gabrielle is supposed to be putting her foot in Argo's stirrup, but I hear the distinct sound of boots on wood. What is Renee climbing on? we could get along. Zena will be so surprised. It's four takes later, and we get to see just what Renee's been stepping onto and the size of the cushions she's been falling on. Talk about the princess and the pea. Okay. This is good. See, I knew we could get along. <laughs> Zena will be so surprised. Ah! Can I slide in eye camera? I mark up eye camera. Here's how they film the actual fall, but I'd recommend not doing any lip reading. Oh! You stupid conniving forfeit daughter of a... Mayor? There's missing dialogue in this scene that enhances Gabrielle's relationship with Argo. And there's that collapsing staff that I never appeared that. again. I need to practice. Not on my horse. What happened to attacking tree stumps? Argo has less splinters. Besides, she doesn't fight back. Usually. I wish the two of you could just get along. It's not like we're in constant war or anything. Argo doesn't like me. Sometimes you have to have patience with those things that annoy you. Oh, I never said she annoyed me. I've been talking to you. <laughs> funny. Very, very funny. <laughs> There's a road on the other side of those trees. I'll meet you there. Bring Argo. Wait a minute. This is a test, isn't it? Leave me with Argo, and I'm supposed to learn how well we can get along, right? Not really. But if you don't want to be alone with her. Oh, I'm not afraid. Go on, we'll catch up. Make sure the saddle's tight. Make sure the saddle's tight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the way Renee makes those physical moves from the earlier part of the scene before the director says action that brings her into what they're now doing. When, do when the scene is broken up into segments, you need a way to connect the dots within yourself. What happened to a talking tree? <laughs> I want to give that line before I step in, okay? So that, just in case it doesn't match. Lucy's tracking the different parts of the scene. Not on my horse. What happened to attacking tree stumps? I go as left pointers. And she doesn't fight back, usually. I wish the two of you could just get along. It's not like we're at cost of war or anything. She doesn't like me. Sometimes you have to have patience with the things that annoy you. I don't think she annoyed me. I wasn't talking to you. 
<laughs> funny. Very, very funny. There's a road on the other side of those trees. I'll meet you there. Bring Argo. Hold on. It's the text, isn't it? You leave me with Argo, and I'm just still going to go with you and get along, right? Not really. But if you don't want to be alone with her. I'm not afraid. You go along with her, Tessa. Be nice. Make sure the saddle's tight. Make sure the saddle's tight. Listen how the director talks Lucy through the specific actions he wants in this fight. This is the answer to a question I've always had. Where is Zena's scabbard attached on top? If you freeze frame this take, you can see it clipped on to the top of her shoulder armor. Okay, now I can sleep nights. Okay. Unko gets herself revved up for the big fight scene. Glad to have you back. Don't ever do this again. Gabrielle, we're in the middle of a fight! This is the third time through for this complicated fight with baddies coming at Xena from every direction. I just couldn't pass up a chance to see Renee get dunked. Love the way they tap on the trough to let her know it's time to come up.
How do you catch a sword that comes flying through the air? You have the prop man hand it to you. I'm taking my friend and we're leaving. Got it? Oh, I like it. Fascinating. How do you throw a punch directly at the baddie played by the camera? Simple. They film it in reverse, while Lucy supplies a variety of reactions. Now we know who was really up in the tree pretending to be Hudson Lake. Can't have raw footage without a Renee fight scene. Renee said recently that she really relished being able to lay out the baddies with her staff in the fight scenes. You can hear the director say, is everyone all right at the end? <laughs> Renee's having way too much fun tossing those fireballs. But she's running out of ah, la, 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 la. I wonder which took more practice, the fireballs or the Xenia yell. Argo is wise to be new. have to figure out why. Do you hear music? Gabrielle, I don't hear any music, but those townspeople sure seem to. Look at them dance. When you thought I was dead, you risked your life to try and take me back home. It was your last wish. For all that you've given me and all the times that you've saved my life, I would go to Tartars and back just to carry it out. I used to worry whether I'd ever get back home, but... Uh... Another example of how a director leads an actor through a scene when the action the character is responding to is not visible. Not only was Gabrielle unused to horses, so was Renee. I think Tilly, who plays Argo, decided to take advantage of that. Check out this clip and the one that follows. Do you think it was Renee's whistle that gave it away to Tilly?
Thought you'd come back for some more, did you? You fell for my little trick, and I have you right where I want you. This is your last warning. Either leave this valley forever or suffer the wrath of Xena. Up, Fargo! Uh, <laughs> I always bow to my enemies before I destroy them. Remember, this is season one, and fight choreography is not something Lucy's used to. She's got to make like she's running up the first guy's chest, do a split in the air, and then kick her feet backwards to the two baddies behind her. This would actually be easier if she was really Xena and able to complete the moves. But she's just doing part of them, and the stunt Xena will fill in the rest. Good on you, Lucy. Unko triumphs in the end. Now we find out who really shot the poison dart at Xena. The prop guy. Wonder what Lucy did to piss him off. Those are two very modern looking villagers. Meanwhile, Lucy's keeping an eye on hair continuity. Is, was my hair like that? I think this is the first footage I've found of Lucy riding. You can see how she starts the flip off the horse that her acrobatic double will finish. I wonder if Argo does what Renee does and faked drinking the water. You know 
this is? It's water. Fizzy water. Who's making money selling water? <laughs> Salmonius. Even early on, you can see Lucy and Renee worked well together when one of them flubbed. Hey, so what's the plan? The plan is to let tell them. You must have a, a guardian Moray or something. Now, what's the plan? The plan is to make Talmadeus realize what he's up against. Renee's doing a bit of ad-libbing when Argo won't stand still. Yes, it's me. Now look, we have to call a truce, okay? Hey, 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 hey. Now none of that sassy stuff of yours, Argo. Hey, 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 let's be still. Okay, all right. Now just stand back. I'm gonna give her the, the gallop whistle. Horse wranglers are very careful when they have Tilly go down with Renee on her, but this turns out to be a difficult move to capture. Yep. 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 Must have a different definition. These two takes are great examples of the director describing heaps of activity that Gabrielle is supposed to be looking at. There are probably a whole lot of people with tennis balls on sticks running around in front of Renee. Right here. Right here. And 
Here's a quick look at Lucy's and Renee's stunt doubles in action. We've hardly ever seen Renee's stunt double. Seen what Gabrielle learns Salmonius gave up Zena's body to Talmadeus. Doors open. And now the villagers are coming out, they're being herded out. And now they're dragging Zena's body out, dragging across the ground. <sighs> and they throw it to the ground and give it a little bit of a kick. Out. He's not going to like it if you go back on our arrangement. He sold us out. <laughs> Puts his body, wrap it in the blanket, pick it up, put it on a horse, and now they all start to walk out. It looks like Salmonis is a dirty rat. What are you going to do? Cut. The end of this take scared the bejesus out of me. Look what Lucy does at the end.
For a dead person, Zena sure has a strong beating pulse in her neck. I think there's hope she's going to come back to life. A bit of deleted dialogue that fleshes out the fact that Zena might die from the poison dart. We've got Talmudeus on in the back. We've got Talmudeus on his heels. You need to hit him at his camp. A direct attack will really make him cautious. Take these. Zena, are you going to die? Poison just has to run its course. I'll be okay. Oh, wait. I don't want the last thing that you told me to be a lie. If, if it is the last. It's possible. It's very strong poison. It could take me. This can't be happening to you. It's not about me, Gabrielle. It's about these people. That's why we're here. People like this used to be my victims. I keep that in mind every time we come up against a warlord like Talmudeus. It's the greater good. Remember that. Gabrielle. If it does happen, now or whenever. I want to be taken home to be buried next to my brother, Lysias. Go on now. I'll be here when you get back. Gabrielle vents her grief and anger over Zena's death. Unmitigated by music or editing, Renee's rage is terrifyingly raw.
I have to focus. The famous deleted scene of Argo comforting Gabrielle. Poor Tilly, her best scenes always wound up on the cutting room floor. chance on foot, so you stay here, okay? Coming back for you. Be here when I do, okay? Check out these two takes and listen to the voices delivering Gabrielle's lines. It definitely works better when Lucy's playing opposite Renee instead of a male Gabrielle. When you thought I was dead, you risked your life to try and take me back home. It was your last wish. So all you're giving me and all the time you saved my life, I go back to the car and back to carry it out. I used to wonder whether... I used to wonder whether, again, I go back to the car and come back to carry it out. I used to wonder whether I'd ever make it back. And now I know that uh, no matter what, I'm going home one day. <laughs> Thank you. Let's change the subject. Or I'm going to get all flopped on. We can't have that now, can we? <laughs> and off we go. Oh, ma'am. Let's do that again. Okay. And Gabrielle, when you thought I was dead, you risked your life to try and take me back home. It was your last wish. For all that you've given me, and all the times that you've saved my life, I was going to tie her some back just to carry it out. I used to wonder whether I'd ever make it back, and now I know that one way or another I'm going home. Thank you. Subject. I'm going to get all soft on you. Can't have that now, can we? And Here's a different take on the final scene. Looks like Lucy and Renee started to crack up, but they kept going. I'm glad to see that you two are getting along. <laughs> well, the best of friends are made in strange situations. Margo's okay. At least I know she doesn't hate me. <laughs> She's still too tall, though. And I'm angry with you. I really thought that you were, you know. I was. Ptolemy poison shuts everything down. I had to go under with it just to fight the effects. I didn't expect to be under so long, though. You know, we still don't know who hit you with that dart. Whoever it was sure knew what they were doing. I just have to figure out why. Hmm. Gabrielle. When you thought I was dead, you risked your life to try and take me back home. It was your last wish. For all that you've given me, and all the times you saved my life, I'd go to Tartarus and back just to carry it out. I used to worry whether I'd ever make it back home. Now I know that one way or the other, I'm gonna get there. So. <laughs> Thank you. Stop. Let's change the subject before I get all soft on you. <laughs> Couldn't have that, could we?
Tamam.